from Austin, Texas, home of the bat nipples, where we lift the atomic weight of boron with our butts because America slaps. It's going to be a great night. Please welcome our hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. We got hoodies. We got hoodies. We didn't. We didn't bring. We them. didn't wear them. <laughs> but now you know a fact. Here's Nobody another grab fact. A, grab our, Blades grab of grass our hoodies. We grow. Got, we they got grow hoodies. from the ground. They fix nitrogen. Here's another fact. Los Angeles is bigger than Rhode Island. Here's another fact. Uh, uh, here's some hoodies. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, there you go. One of these hoodies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we're uh, uh, we we formed a, a a gang. Oh, I think this one. Yeah. They're the same size. Yeah. Okay. Are those, oh, so these are like the new great night hoodies. Oh, awesome! Great no, night they're hoodies. Not, no. They're not great night no. hoodies. Oh, no, they're multiple gangs. No, maybe they're. Oh, they so are, they're yeah. like a cord killer's hoodie, like a cord weird no. things hoodie. Weird cord no, hoodie. It, 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 it's oh. the one podcast that we don't do live. <laughs> <laughs> the one podcast we don't do live. Yeah. World's greatest con hoodies. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we're showing them off despite the fact that they're not on sale. And, These are uh, for sale. Oh we said we are, they're not so for sale. I don't know why we're doing this during the gift giving season. About season two. <laughs> no, there's definitely not. Definitely not gonna play it right now. I swear to God. See, told you. <laughs> you could believe us because I kept my promise. You there did. is a con. There, a con is when <laughs> someone <laughs> takes your money, oh, shit, but they say you that you're not gonna it. steal your money. <laughs> <laughs> shit, uh, I want to hear a Wait, little bit on. more of, of, Bryce, of, of Bryce, season can you, two. Yeah, can you do a legit <laughs> as good as you can? Because I don't know how much you've listened to World's Greatest Con. <laughs> But can you do your best impression of Brian on World's Greatest Con? Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. All right. Here, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll even because uh, I produce it, so yeah. I'll, I'll 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 produce it with my mouth. All yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, give me, right. And you know what? Give I'll start in. it with the opening line. <clears throat> this is World's Greatest Con. I'm Brian Brushwood. Creaky door. Creak. <laughs> stump. 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 Click. 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 Old radio song, old radio song. You're listening to your old radio, <laughs> and it's playing old radio song. <laughs> but do you know the history behind that old radio song? <laughs> because it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> no, this is the story of the world's greatest Old timey song con. <laughs> old timey song con. Old timey song con. Those are the dulcet tones of of Mimoletta Jameson, and uh, you would remember her from her debut in the 1932 film "A Basket for My Shopping." <laughs> well, I'll tell you, woman, if you don't get me my basket, you ain't going shopping. Yeah, but I, I, I don't have the basket. And that was the sound that was heard around the world. <laughs> All right, now, yeah, 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 end yeah, of yeah, episode yeah, one. Bring, <laughs> it up, bring it up with the catchphrase. Now you just bring it up with the catchphrase. Uh, 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 cons don't fool us because we're stupid. They fool us because we're human. And this might be the world's greatest con. And Mimolette's story reminds us. Oh fuck! What is it again? <laughs> line, line. Just go with it. Whatever, whatever you think it is. And Mimolette's story reminds us <laughs> that if you get conned, that's a very bad thing. But this. Worlds, it makes us feel smart. <laughs> That's it. I got it. You get yep. it. Yep. Got it. Stay close enough. <laughs> this is, it makes us feel <laughs> smart. <laughs> With Tony well B. Casting. Applause oh, for Tony B. Casting. <laughs> as you as can the, tell, I listened to it. The bard everything. once wrote, Oh, May. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh, May, <laughs> mother. Right, what's our first topic? Our first topic today. Scary sounds and how to emit them. <laughs> we forgot to tell Bonnie she has to do that. Uh, yeah, so 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 this is this is how I spent my entire morning. Is uh, look, there comes a moment that you can't be the guy who's always talking about what he's gonna do. You got to be the guy who begins. Yeah. This is world's greatest con. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Uh, 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 today was the day I, I took action. Uh, 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 actually, last week no, I told look, Bonnie. No, I I came over. Uh, was it Monday morning? Yeah. I think it was Monday morning. Yeah. 
and uh, uh, I I pull in and I hear the dulcet tones of my dick band. Mm. Uh, that was stage one. That's right. <laughs> uh, playing very loud at full volume on all of the rock speakers. And uh, I was so uh, pleased. I was Brian, so pleased. Brian's like, fucking did it. <laughs> fucking did it. I did it. And I'm like, you played my dick band? <laughs> and he's like, I feel like you played my dick band. I feel like there's like many inappropriate places. Like, in fact, every restaurant in your like vicinity, you probably loudly played my dick band on your phone. And you're like, no, you don't understand. I played it on the speakers. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know why that's, that's exactly, impressive. That's exactly what I said. And uh, he's like, well, the only way I was able to play music before was through Spotify and Apple Music and Pandora. Yeah. None of them have my dick band, which is copyright infringing parody. <laughs> uh, and so... Uh, also, uh, I bought it in euros. It was pay what you want, but it was in euros, so I assume that's part of why <laughs> whoever made my dick band gives two shits about the copyright. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. But you were very excited. I still don't know what you did. What did you do? I bought a copy of my Dick Band's album. So you like, you didn't do any like <laughs> physical thing because you made it sound like you were like rewired the, whole, the whole fucking I, thing. Actually, what I did was I I, I picked <laughs> one computer that I was going to leave on all the time that would be the Sonos server because uh, I had been drifting, you know, just doing nothing but 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 Pandora and Spotify which limits things. And, and as you know, I really like to play the mashups and mashups are never showing up on there because of licensing yeah. stuff. And so I, I installed the Sonos program for, uh, in, uh, in, uh, for the one computer that's going to be on all the time, which meant all of a sudden, all those like uh, Neil Cicerega stuff, all that internet awesome stuff that you can't, yeah, legally stream. I could now legally stream. So that that was step one. You could physically stream from somewhere on your property into all the speakers on your property. Correct, correct, correct. And, and then, then uh, and then my second uh, was. I so here was another thing that happened. And this happened today. Uh, I'm late <laughs> for <laughs> the show because I was working on World's Greatest Con. So we have a five o'clock meeting. I'm here at five ten, and I'm apologetic because I was the one who had the idea to have a five o'clock meeting. So it's shitty for me to be the one who's late. Uh, I get here and there's already there's some other stuff going on because Bonnie's got uh, some problems with like locking her keys in her car. So there's a lot of chaos going on. And finally, I come in, I sit down and Bryce, who's sitting in a pile of glasses, is just like, <laughs> like trying to figure out what's going on. So it's just me and Bryce talking. And then Brian is screaming through the facility. <laughs> Justin! Justin! <laughs> He's like, he got the golden ticket! Justin! Justin! By, by the way, Justin! The, the reason I am screaming <laughs> is because I am very aware that what I am about to do is going to halt production on the project that Brant is doing that is clearly very dependent on the sunset happening over his shoulder. <laughs> and I asked him, can I do my magic trick for Justin? <laughs> and he's like, okay, well, can you go? Oh, by the way, hold on. Flashback to uh, Monday when Brian just keeps for jokes playing my dick band as loud as possible. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Brant walks up and he's like, Hey, can you stop playing that? You're fucking all my takes. <laughs> like I'm <laughs> like, trying to shoot <laughs> something on the property. Uh, so you're running and you're screaming. You're not coming to the one place where all of us should be because it's past five o'clock. You're just running to every other room in the property. Right, right. Eventually, I'm like, all right, let me see what this is. I come out and, and uh, Brian's like, thank God. Thank God. Come here. Come here. And I'm like, where are we going? He's like, we're going out. We're going out in the middle of this field. And I'm like, uh, okay. And he's like, and now my magic trick. <laughs> Dead silence. Nothing is happening. Justin is annoyed and confused and waiting for something. And then I hear the swell of the Jurassic Park theme. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And you hear this. And then the melodica hits. <laughs> <laughs> So that was it. Brian just wanted to show that yes, this too he could play. No, 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 no. This is what I spent all day doing today is learning how I'm learning how to program in JavaScript so that I could properly use if this then that. 
So that, uh, 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 which speaks to the security system, which speaks to the motion detectors, which speaks to the Sonos, which knows things like when the uh, International Space Station is flying overhead. So it's like when the ISS is going to make a pass and you can see it, there's going to be like a park-wide announcement that it's like, ladies and gentlemen, in 30 seconds, you will see the International Space Station automatically. All the, the, the so so. What happened was like that's why that's why I was doing the magician thing of my hands up the whole time. Yeah, I'm like check this out, check this out. So you were triggering a we were triggering motion? the motion detector in the backyard, gotcha. and it automatically played "Welcome to Jurassic Park" with, with the melodica. melodica. So every time anyone, every time Heaton goes to his scamp, yes, it's going to play the Jurassic Park yes. melodica thing. Yes, that's a really smart way to get him to move his fucking scam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I, like, like there's also ways to limit it to only be working at certain hours and all yeah, of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. figuring all that out. But that's freaking like, okay, so here's the other thing. I didn't realize that was what was happening. Oh, see, I thought, I, okay, uh, I, I knew you didn't look impressed enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> no, because also I have, a, I have a very annoyed Bryce with nine glasses on his face. who's like waiting for our fucking meeting to start. Yeah. My and Brian's like, have you heard the Jurassic Park melodica song? And I'm like, yes. My entire perspective on this this story was hey, uh, okay i had one of you but now all of you left so <laughs> well, so, so now understand uh, uh uh to everybody who's been here there, there's a fair number of of of, of, of cameras and motion detecting yeah. devices around right which means and, and the eye in the sky is uh, well uh, yes pervasive. It, yes i want to keep everyone safe who comes here right so yeah. uh but it also means that's a lot of areas where you could be to trigger sounds that uh, can come from somewhere else. So I ordered three more amps that are going to be in different areas. And so think about this. You're in the backyard and the motion control triggers and you hear a Jaguar over by the soundstage. You're Rawr! and you're like, what the fuck is that? Was that a Jaguar? And you're like, and you listen for it and you go over to the soundstage, you look. And then you trigger another motion alert. You hear children laughing in the forest. <laughs> and you go to walk over to them. And then all of a sudden it starts uh, it starts playing melodica. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, my baby. baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Like, 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 like I, 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 sunrise, uh, something happens. Sunset, something happens. Catches you out past 2 p.m. Oh, you could also set the, okay, so at night, <laughs> any motion, any motion out there after 1 a.m., just the, all the speakers go, Death. <laughs> would that freak you the hell out? Yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How great is this gonna be? Uh, uh, well. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> What's our next topic, Bryce? Our next topic. <laughs> Bonnie and Joy. All right. <laughs> okay. So. So many of my stories begin with I don't have depth perception. So. Uh, I, I trimmed Joy's fingernails or toenails or whatever she's got. All right. And for those who don't know, yeah. Joy is a one-year-old, still a puppy, giant 70-pound Weimar on her. Yeah. Who has the wiggles always. Always. And uh, after the uh, toe, toenail trimming incident, she won't let anybody near her fingernails. So, um I took her in. They gave they they gave me some like Xanax for dogs. So we tried to take her in like super like <laughs> yeah. super doped up. Yeah, yeah. Like, just... they gave you Xanax for dogs. I gave her what was left. I uh, know. Um... I just I'm I'm stuffing this down her gullet, and she's just like, yeah, still no. And so, so they have to put her in a light sedation, so she's not like you know those those fingernail winning contests where they're just all over the place. Fingernail running contest. Yeah, you know, like you, every now and then you see the old man that has like the oh, like, 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 super the, like the Guinness long, World Record yeah, holders, yeah. yeah, the big curly Q motherfuckers, yeah. or as they like to be called, the fingernail running contest. <laughs> They're just like, oh, so cool so running. To take her in, and then and so it's this whole ordeal, and and it's it's a little bit of shame because I really wanted to own this this trimming on my own, but uh, <laughs> sorry, you felt like personally ashamed that you weren't able to hold to wrestle the dog down exactly okay exactly so but i take her in and i'm already a little nervous about it and ashamed because like we have to kind of put her 
in a light sedation, right? And that's like a little risky, even if it's not like just to get those nails trimmed. And so I'm just like, oh, is it okay? And they're just like, yeah, as long as you don't do it too often. I'm like, am I doing it too often? They're like, no, I'm looking at your records. It's totally fine. She's, she's totally fine. Bring her in. So we drop her off. And then they call me back like a little, like way earlier than I thought. And they said, okay, you, you can come get your dog. And I was like, great. So I walk in. And uh, you got to know the, the the receptionist is this woman who reminds you of a diner waitress, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, she's amazing. What do you have, hon? Yeah, she does. <laughs> I mean, she's, like, seen it all. She's, yeah. she's like, hey, sweetie, what's going on? I'm like, oh, well, I'm here to pick up Joy. And she goes, oh, so the doctor called and spoke to you about Joy? What? Exactly. Uh -oh. Like this is the friendliest, most bubbliest person I've ever met. She and got super she, cereal with you. She got super cereal. And I go, well, I don't think it was the doctor that called me, but they said she was ready to pick up. And then she goes, oh, oh, uh, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. <laughs> uh, disregard everything. We had two joys here today. I'm just, you know, silly me. I'll go get your dog. And then she leaves. And I'm sitting there, and, it, and it's kind of taking a while. So, all right, all right, all right. real quick, yeah. in this moment, do you think this diner waitress is lying to you? I know there's something weird going on. You know there's something weird. Right. And so, so what you don't know is, did something bad happen to Joy or... Was there I mean, it, a major problem for which she is trying to cover it, the, for the it, fact it, that she should also have at, at this point? If I'm placing a bet, some one of the two dogs named Joy had a bad day. Yeah, and well, we don't I know. Think, uh, oh, so. Also, no. My my thought is there aren't two dogs named Joy. Oh, there is one dog named Joy, and there is a confused chain of communication. Uh, there's and somebody who desperately covering, wants to leave. She is covering yeah. for the fact that she was saying something that she shouldn't have said. That's right. my bet. No, there definitely were two dogs named Joy, and as she uh, that sounds like that sounds like a song name. Yeah, and then they she toodles off to the back, and then I I'm looking around, and then I lean in because I see this suspicious bag that says "Fond Memories." Oh no! Oh my god! Yeah. And it has. And if you joy. want your dog named Joy now, she's oh. fucking dead, yeah. But if you want your other dog named Joy now, you can go ahead now. Joy is dead. Joy's alive. One is gonna leave, and the other won't survive. That's the story of this vet, yeah. Uh, enjoy your trip, fingernails. <laughs> yeah. Two, Two joys. joys. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. So all I know is that whatever dog came around the corner, we were taking it home. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, that's it. Yeah. That's it. All of a sudden, Joy is now a cocker spaniel. <laughs> like right. that is what happened. A uh, cocker spaniel with renal problems or something. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's going back with us. So, anyways, everything turned out fine, and it was my. I mean, dog. not for one of the dogs. And, and it was one of, and it was a very stoned dog, but she had a delightful day. So. Uh, our dog was stoned. Our dog was very stoned. The other one. Yeah, well, will be buried beneath stone. Yeah, ah, yes. Yeah. R.I.P. Joy. R.I.P. Oh, Long live no. Joy. Long live Joy. <laughs> Long live Joy. Hey, Bryce, what's our last topic? After this commercial break. All right. So I found an amazing video. Yeah. On the internet, and I don't know. I've only seen two of them. I cannot vouch for the quality of anything that happens past that. Okay. But the first two are amazing. It brought me back to a simpler time in life. Uh, and I feel like we can play as many of these as they are as as they are funny. But it was a compilation of one of the best Reddits. What, sh sh should we just play it and, ex and maybe maybe I, I, figure I'll, out what it is? Yeah, before, before uh, we, we play it, I won't, I won't give any context to it. But the Reddit I got it is one of the best Reddits ever. R slash obscure media. Bryce, let's just... Uh, Just go. Bonnie, feel free to uh, describe what you're seeing. Oh, okay. Bizarre encounters. I am... I am seeing, oh gosh, wait. No, no, just let, just let it go. Just let it go. It, it has to build. People as they come face to face with bizarre encounters. Are they from next door or are they from... If you only make one phone call in your life, <laughs> make 
make it to Bizarre Encounters. $2 first minute, 45 cents additional minutes. If you're under 18, get your parents' permission to call. All right, pause it. Pause it, because the next one's amazing. So this is a compilation of 1-900 advertisements from the 90s. Do we have to explain what 1-900 numbers were? Yes, you do. Uh, So... I mean, does anybody under, would anybody under 30 know? No, they wouldn't. What a 1-900 number. I actually tried to buy one uh, when, uh, uh, when, yeah, when I, when, uh, uh, because I I love that nomenclature of 1-900 because it was a big thing with uh, uh, wrestling hotlines uh, in in the 80s and 90s. And so, no, I tried to buy one because I I made the podcast 1-900 Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I need to buy the 1-900 number. And it was, like, fucking impossible. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, if anybody can figure out how to do it, that would be a great way. Like, if you don't want to join Patreon, you could experience (laughs) our bonus episodes by calling 1-900. By paying per minute. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, I guess that's it. The question would be if the phone companies are still going along with it. Because the idea was that, like, it was the easiest way to transfer money from one person to another. Sure. Because you didn't even need to give them a credit card. Right. You would just pick up the phone. They were automatically the going to be billed or their yeah. telephone service would be cut off. Would, exactly. So so yeah, you would get billed just by being on the phone for whatever. It's like, like there was the first couple minutes were free and then past that you would be charged for each additional minute. And so you would get phone sex lines and betting lines, but these were the most bizarre ones. Bryce, let's play the next one. That's additional minutes. If you're under 18, get your parents' permission to call. Cute little dog you've got there. But hold on. In a previous life, he could have been George Washington. <laughs> nice cat. Perhaps Annie Oakley? And look at him. Why, it's Napoleon. Reincarnation. <laughs> what human being was your pet in a previous lifetime? <laughs> Master reincarnationist E. David Scott will tell you when you call this number. Just answer simple questions with your touch tone phone. A dollar ninety-five per minute for entertainment only. Under eighteen, get permission. Call now. Learn who your pet was as a human in a previous lifetime. This is unreal. Oh. So by the way, this lazy motherfucker wasn't even on the line. It like was it was just a just touch tone tone. of him. Yeah. Holy uh, shit, this is so good. Well, apparently, in order to get a 1-900 commercial made, you have to go to to the 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 glam photos. You have like, to you go know, to glamour, the, the shots, glamour first. shots first. And you have to yeah. put a fist underneath your chin. Right. So, uh, uh, Bonnie, that, that begs the question, what uh, a famous person was Joy in a previous life? Oh, Joy. She was David Bowie. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, geez. I mean, uh, what? what you A little mean, soon, like, huh? Yeah, exactly. Little soon. I think that was the other Joy. <laughs> Aww. They're both dead. Bryce, what's the next one? You've made it through the day, and you're about to break your diet. You have two choices. And Diet Phone can help you make the right one. Day or night, Diet Phone will help you with the most important part of any diet, your willpower. You can win this battle with the help of Diet Phone. But the time to act is now. No more excuses. Make the right choice. <laughs> oh my god, audio <laughs> listeners! So the entire the entire commercial is just succulent tracking shots of delicious food as this guy is walking out of his bed. He finally reaches into his fridge to pull out what, Bryce? A phone! A phone! <laughs> right, this, one, that, this one's too good. I'm, I'm gonna call it and see what it says. Oh, wait. Does hmm. it still exist? Oh, I don't have my... That's, you don't have to actually use your phone. You could just pretend. Okay. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to 1-900-DIET. Phone. Phone. <laughs> are you, uh, are you looking to not eat? Oh, wait, You've I... selected, <laughs> I'm gonna eat right now. Oh, no! I would like to tell you... Are you sure? Press one for yes and no for no. <laughs> no You've hit no. <laughs> You're being real non-committal here, Pistol Pete. And if you don't get right, I'm going to slap you down. Hi, it's me, Bizarre Encounters. <laughs> that was the night I meant the sentient 1-900 number. <laughs> I was trying to stick to my diet. <laughs> and it turned out it wasn't a recording at all. That's the sound of a cocker spaniel, <laughs> whose in a reincarnated life was Rod Serling. <laughs> I would play more. 
I feel like somehow this is going to charge me $20. <laughs> <laughs> Do we push it? Do we push it? For keep, going, keep going. Push I mean, it I mean, we're three Call for three, three right? Now. <laughs> the seance is soon to begin. Everybody is gathered around the table, but there's right, one pause, pause, pause. place. Place your bets on what the twist is. There's got to be, it, it can't just be contact the dead. I think it's contact. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. I do. This is your chair. We'd like you to come and join us. <laughs> Just call this number and be These a part of the These are the same motherfuckers. Group. Isn't there somebody you'd like to talk to from your past? Oh, so you call join now their seance. Join Madam Ava's phone seance. Just $1.95 per minute for entertainment only. Under 18 get permission. There's a place at the table for you. Call now and speak to the past. Wait. By the way, all right, so so for, for audio listeners, a bunch of people are sitting around a table, and it looks like the most realistic swingers party in history. <laughs> uh, complete with like, the, the smearing all these of... these dusty-ass white people <laughs> like that. And then they, like, in unison, all motion for you to sit down next to them so they can all commutatively grab your thigh. Co complete with, like, the Vaseline all over the lens. <laughs> Everything's all... Sp all right, all right, we're four and, for four. But wait, that guy on the left is the guy from the, the oh yeah pet. no we so figured it out we, we've cracked the case boss yeah. wait 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 no he's, he's the guy right? from what he's the, he's the guy who's uh, will tell you that your dog was napoleon yeah oh really yeah, hey, look inside it's all they're all the same motherfuckers that's yeah. the same he's guy <laughs> that's literally the same guy <laughs> dr david e stout <laughs> yeah look at that headline that's the same guy <laughs> we're blowing the lid off all this shit <laughs> We have broken this fucker loose. See, I, I feel like the empty seat is actually like a recruitment so that you have your own 900. Wait, oh, that's right. Yeah. It eventually it becomes like, an MLM where they're all like, listen, uh, the, I guarantee you, like, one of these is going to be the secret to millions of dollars is just one phone call away. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, are we going to press our lock? Yes, yeah, press our lock. Yeah. Like, one more. <laughs> The phone zombies are very, very dead. Very difficult to understand what they're saying in this one. <laughs> yeah. And by the, the way, phone zombies. By the way, uh, uh, the speakers here are so much better than any speaker that like this was playing <laughs> uh, out of at yeah, television yeah, of in, in the nineties. But they're not in their graves, and they're not walking the night. They're in the phone line, and they've got your number! Brian, is this you? What the fuck? <laughs> is that your voice? That's Seth. Can you... It does, sir. <laughs> They're in the phone line, and they've got your number. That's the motherfucker. <laughs> we found him. Wait, hold on. <laughs> the idea was I'm going to pay two ninety nine a minute so I can hear zombies <laughs> who, are, who are in your phone line and have your number. <laughs> What the fuck was the The call 90s? is coming from inside your house because you're calling us for $2.99 for the first minute. I love the fact that they drop the get your parents permission and they just start saying like, I don't know, ask someone. Zombies <laughs> are here. Ask somebody. Just, just say, shout, open the door and say, yo, this cool? Then call us. Also, what was the content when you called? <laughs> That's right. I'm in the phone. <laughs> You got another? These have to be like on the pirate bay somewhere. What? All the phone tree yeah. stuff? Yeah. Oh, recordings maybe. of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, I would, I would hope somewhere so. on the dark web. I don't. I mean, I don't, we can't, they can't all be winners, right? The I first mean, one that sucks, we got to. So bail. far, they're all winners. All right, so all right, let's go. It's the freak phone. And here's the, the freak phone. phone. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ready not the kind of not the kind of freak I thought. Jesus Christ, it's just a boglin. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Wait, just, are you gonna fuck this boglin? It's but I want to join the party. I think it was both. I think it was both. It was. <laughs> it's the freak phone, and then it's like this big alien shows up, and they're like, "Oh, it's an alien. The alien's the freak." And then it's like, "He's really willing to the, <laughs> fuck you today." Like it's so, like. Okay, so the idea is you only have one recording, and it's of Boglins razzing each other, and then they're like, "Hey, you called the freak phone." All right, we gotta hear the rest of this. Nine, oh, freak. John, the party. 
easy way You hear what's scamming from New York to L.A. Call now, 1-900-4903 What's happening, what's jamming? Party to your drop Dial and hear the action What's hot and what's not? Call now, 1-900-4903 It's going Two dollars a call it's so, it's so, it's don't it's even not, ask anyone now. <laughs> who like, cares? Fucking, at this point, it's 2 a.m. We know you're fucking high as a kite. <laughs> Is that it? Is that We're going to make a lyric $2 a minute. Because that ad is literally just... What the fuck is even happening? <laughs> I need to pay money to know what's happening. Oh, my God. We barely even got to the good stuff. All of this has been the little freaky goblin oh, guy. Oh, oh, we're not near the end? Go. Drop. Dial here the action. What's hot and what's not? Call now. one 900 dollars a call. The Freak $2. Phone. And now you can call the phone freaks on the Freak Phone for freaky, frightening fun. Call us now at 1-900-490-FREAK and you'll get full tilt, madcap, wacky, warp madness. Give us a call, 1-900-490-FREAK. Okay, okay, okay th this is the same phone number, only now it's local DJs. I feel like this is us, like, 20 years earlier. I feel like it could be us today. <laughs> if we could only get our hands on that 900 number. <laughs> You got one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four nine zero freak. I feel like I feel like if we would have bailed before the freak phone, I would have been sad. fucking sad. Bryce, uh, get us another one. Is the UFO hotline? Yeah. Your phone number to the biggest cover up ever. Call one nine hundred nine zero nine UFOs. Although we warn you to be prepared, this may be the most shocking phone call you'll ever make. Here, up to the minute UFO sightings and extraterrestrial contacts. Up to the minute. Call yeah. one 909 ufos You click it, All and it's just straight up west of the Rockies. Oh You're my on God, the air. Look at that. <laughs> look at that illustration. <laughs> oh, wow. Wild card line. You're on the air. <laughs> just George Norrie. Oh, shit. All right. Sa save this as a as a reward when we do good. Whenever we do good, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. Just well, yeah. Hit whenever us with whenever one there's of these. something that, that good that, that's happened, just have that queued up and we can uh, uh, yeah. we can figure it out. Sine Wave says he could get us a 900 number, just saying. If that's true, this has to happen. I mean, are they legal? I mean, did they become illegal? Like, well, what, why uh, did they go away? Because nobody had landline service anymore. But you can call a 900 number on your cell phone. It, it would almost make it more pervasive. Someone in our chat did say U.S. phone companies stopped offering 900 numbers. So uh, it could be that Sign has a hookup outside of the U.S. Or... Oh, so it would have to be like like country code 11 900 or oh. something. International calls, know. you can still get away with this. And you could do like $50 for a call. And, really? And it, well, yeah, because there's cases where... Um, uh, I think there was a uh, 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 Darknet Diaries about this where hackers would get access to the um, uh, phone systems of corporations and then just have them dial oh. millions of dollars of, of calls to... It's the oldest scam in the book. <laughs> <laughs> You'd knock the, the receiver off the hook and they'd never know. Well, look, we're not yet ready to do the world's greatest con. But until then, we've, we've got a pretty good little shindig here. If you go to patreon.com slash great night. Patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go if you want to get Jesus Christ. Did that literally shut, just happen? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just lucky that melodicas aren't playing outside. <laughs> <laughs> is, like, the, 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 the sound of Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Is 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 uh, three things in succession? Have you ever seen this clip? I need to show you this clip and him showing it to you, and then in the middle of him showing it to you, a two hundred dollar order coming in on scamstuff.com <laughs> that that alerts you because there's a gigantic cash register ring that happens. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, Patreon.com. We're very poor. Slash we need great your night. money. My God, <laughs> we've never been poorer than we are right now. Two dollars a minute. Just kidding. Uh, in fact, it's it, it's less than that. It is uh, uh, only uh, uh, two bucks per week, and you it, it, get a bonus episode. You get your own RSS feed. You get four bonus episodes per month. Yeah, yeah, four bonus episodes per month, and. Uh, They've been good, man. I feel like uh, uh, sometimes they're sloppy, sometimes they're they're like on fire, but they are always well worth it. And if you enjoy 
some of the energy of uh, uh, you know the BB Live show going all the way back. Yeah, uh, and you know pre shows and post shows like throughout uh, different versions of of this program. Then you will love the the bonus shows that we do because it is that same kind of just shooting the shit energy. So uh, go check that out right now. Patreon dot com slash great night yo bryce you got a game for us i do have a game for us today uh this is a game I'm, i think we've played it many times before but i don't think i've ever given a name so we're calling it uh no your would you rather bot <laughs> that's what? legit oh man i'm so curious what's it about yeah so I uh, guess I'll have to find out by calling one nine hundred bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it's like I don't know. Should we play another video? And then it's like it's the freak phone, <laughs> freak phone, freak phone. He's an alien dancing freak phone. One nine hundred freak phone. Don't $2 ask anybody. <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> So I've pulled up some uh, would you some some would you rather polls that were posted by our friend at uh, wyr underscore bot on Twitter, and uh, you'll each get one, and you'll have to tell me how the respondents voted. So you're looking to get uh, the correct uh, poll response with everybody else. You got it? Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Now, uh, before we do that, uh, uh, it is game time. Do we have a punishment for today? Yes, we do. Ooh, what do we got? Oh. So, I don't the like the fact that you are smiling. The the Brett, Brett has never to... smiles like this when he I, has a punishment. I ain't calling no freak phone. I hear that there's ghosts in the phone lines. <laughs> That's right, and they got your number. Ah, zombies are zombies. not in the ground, and they're not walking the earth. They're, they're in, in the, the phone, phone lines, and, and they, they have got your number. number. <laughs> what an amazing short story. <laughs> That's a uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, whoever loses loses has to go and serenade the other in their front yard say anything style with the boom box so you have to procure or find a, a rent you know, boom box you know they have to do this at the end of the game yeah oh, we have to do it here game? yeah we have to do it here oh uh, shit whoops <laughs> <laughs> so it'll just have to be a serenading yeah that's yeah. Just fun, like it's embarrassing. They can do it here on the stage. We can find a way. No, no, no. no. Mistakes is that yeah. you have to do like a really sincere song, like you know, okay, Celine Dion or De Leon. De Leon. De Leon. Yeah. <laughs> Celine De Leon. So when you yeah. can't afford Celine Dion, who do you yeah. get? Exactly. You get me, Celine De Leon. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty much the same thing. Oh <laughs> you found God. me on the freak phone. Exactly. <laughs> Celine De Leon, search for the fountain of <laughs> near, far, <laughs> wherever <laughs> we are. <laughs> where the freak phone. One nine hundred bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So so we have to do a sincere serenade. Right. You want to know, and also feel free to feel feel, feel free to add on to it as we play the game. You you, okay. you will have okay. you will have a final say at the end on what the punishment is, but it will be serenade based. All right. There we go. So uh, I'm going to give you a would you rather, uh, and you're going to have to tell me how you think the respondents voted. We'll start with you, Brian, on this one. Ready, ready. On an example round, we'll just start here. From would you rather, but would you rather be a good? Ah, uh, don't play it. Don't what? Stop. Oh. Pause. No. I, I think it's the one that had like. All the votes. <laughs> Why did it autoplay? Okay, we're skipping those. We're skipping Aww. that. Okay. Aww. Aww. Hey, I want you to know that zombies aren't in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> They're not walking I mean, never, They were They're never in the, in the ground. They're in the And they That's the point got them. your number. They're, they're the fucko. walking dead. They can't walk underground. Unless yeah. they're in the subway. Mole zombies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Brian, would you rather... Yes. Cucumbers or tomatoes? Tomatoes is what everybody says. We're gonna go with tomatoes. I'm practicing my serenade. Can't fuck a tomato. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's what they just say it if you're if you're asking. Oh, like, I don't think I mean, you're actually, asking. The tomatoes aren't in the ground. You can fuck a tomato. They're in the I mean, phone you lines. can fuck anything you if you've got the but willpower. But a tomato can't fuck you. Oh yeah, See? you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna stick with you're, you're tomatoes. Stick with tomatoes. <laughs> well, well, I mean, in more ways than one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, let's take a look at the results. 
53.1% said cucumbers. That's no you. point for Brian. T-O-L-J-A. Told you. Justin, we got one here for you. Would you rather a whole bottle of Tabasco or a bowl of wasabi? Oh. A whole bottle of Tabasco yeah. or a bowl of wasabi. I kind of feel like people are going to think that they're going to go wasabi because people usually wind up eating the whole thing of wasabi at like uh, uh, sushi. We're very rarely at a restaurant do you empty an entire bottle of Tabasco. So I'm going to say wasabi. He's going to say wasabi. Also, wasabi is better than Tabasco in every conceivable way. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really? I'm, I mean, yeah. I guess I've. Wait, are, 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 are you are you a, a hot sauce man or, or, or a Tabasco man? No, I mean I like wasabi more than Tabasco, but I'm surprised to hear that it was both actually of y'all a sick prefer. burn. He just dealt you. That was, that was pretty good. Oh, I wasn't. I uh, wait, hold on. What are these glasses? What, what, I don't. Which are these? Like a, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Like, these somebody are... call one nine hundred aliens. I'm freaking <laughs> over here. All I all I know is that at any moment I expect Bryce to start banging out the intro to Crocodile Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it would look better with his hundred dollar hat, though. Yeah, if I had the hundred dollar hat, it would fit the glasses oh, wait, a little better. He's got different glasses on. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> freak phone, freak phone. So Justin, you said wasabi. <laughs> wasabi, wasabi. The voter said sixty-six point nine percent Tabasco. Oh. That's another no point. Man, these uh, fucking hayseeds. They've yeah. never seen wasabi in their goddamn life. They don't even know what they're talking about. Tabasco. Why don't you just drink a gallon of vinegar and then Bunch call one nine hundred puke? Bunch of pores on the internet. Bunch of pores. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, I'm taking it there. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and if you want to hear turn. the answer for it, you can dial one nine hundred class war. <laughs> Brian, we're here. Two dollars a minute. Please ask your parents' permission. <laughs> don't, don't, just don't ask anyone. Yeah, <laughs> two dollars a minute. Don't confess to anybody. <laughs> Brian, would you rather a koala or a panda? Oh, it's gotta be koala, because I could steal one of them motherfuckers. You ever try to steal a panda? I have. They're so fat. It's very difficult to do. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to think of the meanest thing to say to a panda. About a panda? Yeah. Is it because I made fun of the poor? <laughs> well, I don't know. And now now I've, 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 brought, I've brought a very angry All energy to, to the show. All cracked the seal. It wasn't me. Yeah, I, mean, I know, I know. Yeah. I'll take, I'll, no, I'll say, yeah. No, I, I did it. I did it. All right. Pandas we'll are fat, though, man. They're big. Yeah. Well, except the baby ones, but they're, they're even more valuable. <laughs> You're going to get shot down. You're yeah. going to get tortured by Xi Jinping himself. Fucking, then, fucking around stealing a baby panda. Nice, nice thing about a koala, though, is like if somebody catches you, you just shove them in their face and they can be like, ah. I mean, you can do that with a baby panda, too. Yeah, but the panda will be like, I don't know what to do. Uh, koala. And the koalas are known for their fast action. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. And yeah. their riddles. <laughs> and their riddles. Oh, yes. They're, they're going to give you a, a two-part riddle that'll yes. stump you clean. Yeah, they're, 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 they're like the uh, energy vampires of Australia. Really? Yeah. That and... Eucalyptus leaves. <laughs> yeah. That's what's well known about koalas. <laughs> Which would you rather have? Eucalyptus breath or bamboo breath in, in your face? He's 900 videos. I've brought a very weird energy. <laughs> yeah. To the show. yeah. All right. All yeah. right. Koalas. Go. Oh, yeah. They, they, wait. Don't they trans, transmit like gonorrhea or uh, chlamydia? Or chlamydia. Or chlamydia. Oh, chlamydia. Yeah. Yeah. It's some STD that they all have. Yeah. yeah. All right. With 65.6% of the vote, the internet said... A panda. Ah, no, point. no point for Brian on that. One. Jack Black. I mean, with us. to be to be fair, it, it was it. Would you rather have or rather steal? It says, "Would you rather a koala or a panda?" Oh, I mean, like the panda, way more valuable. Like, like if you are in possession of a non-Chinese government-owned panda, like you can pretty much write. I mean, I'm pretty sure life. the Chinese government's position is that they own all of the pandas. all the pandas, right? But let's yeah. say you had, you could prove that you had one. You know, then you would lose right? your Hearthstone sponsorship. <laughs> you would. <laughs> so I'm going koala. <laughs> All right, Justin, this one's Against for you. Against the grain. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> dip proudly stamping this. I'm, I'm keeping my Hearthstone scholarship, <laughs> and Taiwan's a part of China. <laughs> oh, Jiminy criminy. All right. <laughs> Justin, this one's for you. Would you rather see your pony or visit? <laughs> What? <laughs> Would you rather Would see rather your pony see or visit? my pony or visit or presumably visit your pony? Presumably the yeah. pony. Yeah. 
I mean, I'd rather visit it. I'd rather visit my pony. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's 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 my pony. It's your like, damn pony. No, yeah. No. Uh, what? Bonnie is staunchly anti-visit. Are you thinking about it in, 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 in the genuine sense? Mr. Can't I please Bow. visit my yeah. pony? Bow. Okay, Bow. I'm Bow. sorry, but I forgot. I'm just I'm a bachelor. one 900 free phone. Good news. No, go? good, good news. Uh, the score is 0-0 zero, zero up until this moment. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Wait, yeah. didn't I get one right? No. You're about to. All right. I think I got one right before. It's just, the score is zero zero and yeah. right now. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so Justin, you said you would rather visit. I'd rather visit my pony. Yeah. All right, the internet spoke, and fifty point nine percent said Whoa. visit. Just on the cusp. That's a Justin point. What God a, a damn. bunch of fucking Wait. deadbeat pony riders. A lot of motherfuckers that don't have creativity in terms of broken sentence clauses. <laughs> It's Why true. would you have a pony if you weren't going to visit it? Like, you just want to. Well, no, because there's, there's a bunch of people it. who are like, okay, I, I know for a fact in the broken writing of this sentence that I will see my pony. Right. The second one is just visit. Uh, so we are taking in good faith the majority, yeah. the very slim majority that you are assuming that visiting you are also visiting the pony, the pony uh, and not visiting, I don't know. Grandma, or 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 oh, the would you rather buy? Like, yeah, would you like to see your pony, or we can visit? Yeah, we can visit. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's up? <laughs> are it's we been a minute. Want to have a long conversation about taxes? We'll visit. <laughs> <laughs> Robo okay. taxes. <laughs> yes, they're not in your tax forms. They're in the phone lines, <laughs> and they have your number. No. <laughs> Dial one nine hundred IRS ten ninety nine. <laughs> All right. How Ask funny would that be? And they're like, we're the IRS and we will cancel your taxes if you just call 1 900. <laughs> Over 18, ask your ta county tax assessor collector. <laughs> All right. Brian, we're back to you. Ready. Would you rather be a killer lion or be a dog in hell? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is, a, this is a tough line. one. Tough yeah. one. So one of them, I'm an apex predator yeah. doing what I'm meant to do. Kill. Uh, and I'm not being killed. I'm the one killing. I mean, there's no guarantees there, but we do know that you are a killer. Okay. In, yeah. In the other scenario, I'm an animal of such low status that, uh, number one, people insult each other by saying they are the offspring of one. And number two... People feed them Xanax just to clip their toenails. Okay, so here's the only <laughs> thing I, I'm, I'm with you on your on your train of thought, but just counterfactual, right? Yeah. Hellhounds known to be like monsters, right? Like you could think that the the dog in hell is more like the devil, yeah. than he is just like a dog getting tortured in hell. He's a part of the staff. Oh, Imagine shit. being the yeah. dog that gets sent to hell when all dogs go to heaven. Yes. Dude, I. I <laughs> Fucking I mean, number one, number one, that was Charlie and all dogs go to heaven. He goes to hell, too. Come on. Let's not uh, fucking forget the movie. Also, there's a uh, sorry, Satan. There's nothing in the rule book that says dogs <laughs> aren't allowed here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. He throws down his baseball hat and steps on it. <laughs> Air Asmodeus. <laughs> they should change the rules. I'm Satan. <laughs> uh, I, I think you've uh, almost convinced me, except no, uh, not at all. Uh, I don't want to be a dog in hell. I want to be a lion killing. All right, you said you want to be the killer lion yeah. instead of a dog in hell. Yeah. The internet spoke. 81% said they would be a killer lion. That's yeah. a Brian point. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. When he changed his name, he didn't change it to Snoop Dog in Hell. <laughs> he changed it to Snoop Lion. He should have changed it to Snoop Dog in Hell. Snoop Dog in Hell. That's really good. Snoop Dog in Hell. <laughs> hell. Ow, ow. <laughs> Justin, we're back to you. Oh, old scratch. <laughs> hey. Go ahead. Justin, would you rather have a giant closet or... Grilled cheese. Torturing <laughs> these humans, <laughs> sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Hell, dog. Uh, would you rather have a giant closet or grilled cheese? Damn. <laughs> I mean, all right. So this is always the thing is that you, we don't know 
for a fact who's voting on this shit. And I think we always wind up thinking that it's kids, like people without much life experience. So but, you would but, assume that they've had a lot of grilled cheeses the and they've not had a lot of big closets. My guess is very few children have made it a half decade long bit in their show <laughs> so i think it's safe to maybe point the uh the sights at our own demographic oh so you think that our shit would swing it uh oh oh no no, no. i i, I think... has it been long enough that we should explain the 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 the, the, the sdgc bit uh oh shit oh no, no 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 i i was thinking like like uh i i think the demographic is older than you think so, so because we love would you rather bot yes so it's mm-hmm. uh, uh, in that sample and all size, adults love big so, so you you don't think that all right so you you don't think i that don't it think is... any kids look at this i think only people over 30 real huh. yeah interesting yeah i don't agree with that okay well Justin, i don't agree with that would you rather have a giant closet or grilled cheese uh I, I i think that it's going to be the giant closet i think the grilled cheese is more of a a, a haveable commodity Giant closet, uh, not so much. All right, the internet is spoken. 50.4 said, have a giant closet. That's cool. a Justin point. Wow. That was closer than was I very thought. Close. Wow. So, wait, I mean, like, clearly one is more valuable than the other. Well, like, like a, a grilled cheese can be made for, like, under $2. <laughs> Maybe maybe that's an exact explanation of the age split uh, that like uh, between homeowners uh, and and everyone else. So you think that? Wait, hold on, Bryce, bring that back up. I was advocating that for you, giant you closets. Think, you think? All right. So I how many older... people voted? Four hundred and seven people voted. Yeah. You're yeah. saying that that uh, uh, two hundred uh, two hundred are all homeowners who have big closets and are like, no, fuck it, I could go for a grilled cheese. No, 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 no. I think the ones that are voting grilled cheese are children who don't think about closets at all and have, you know, like, whatever, that's some mom shit. Uh, and, then, and then meanwhile, everybody who's an adult thinks, fuck, I need a bigger closet. Oh, wait, hold on. You are saying that only two demographics vote on would you rather bot. Literal children, <laughs> yes. like seven, yes. seven to thirteen yes. children, yes, and then thirty plus, yes, homeowners. Well, hold on, who In- have substantial closets already, or, or I mean, maybe they're renting. I don't know, but they're old enough to know <laughs> that they, the more valuable thing is clearly a bigger closet. <laughs> Except for now, there is one factor that I hadn't considered: the possibility of rich motherfuckers who already have a big ass closet. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, no, I think that's a very small, but significant enough to to swing right. the final vote in your favor. All right, I still got a point, Bonnie. You, you registered that point, right? And so oh, don't 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 mark it down twice. He'll try to get you to do that. I'm not trying. To... In fact, let's check in with Bonnie. Bonnie has a score looking after three rounds of play. Okay. So I'm unsure. Okay. <laughs> I can. I. You know what? I can help Justin you out if you're. Has, either has two or three, and Brian has one. Uh, Justin has two points. There he you does. Go. So I did. You guys just talked a long time about that girl. <laughs> <laughs> she started to like think Bonnie. about how much she would like all the things that she would do to get her hands on a grilled cheese. This is the I new game that. theory of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Well, I, I did mark it down correctly, and hmm. I did not overscore. There we go. All right, back to Brian. Ready. Would you rather limes or mangoes? Oh, fucking. Uh, God damn it. Limes Look, or mangoes? I know the internet is all fucked in their brains, and they're all going to say mangoes. I don't give a shit. Across this line, you do not tread. This aggression will <laughs> not stand, man. It's limes all day, every way. Hooray. You put the mango in the coconut nope. and drink nope. it all up. You mm 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 I know I'm in, I'm I'm intentionally Doctor. gonna lose a point here. So wait, uh, wait, do you think the internet is mango? Crazy? Yeah, I think the internet is dumb. I think everybody voting in this poll it. is dumb. I think everybody works at Skittles is dumb. I think <laughs> limes are the best, mangoes are the worst, and I and and they probably all vote for mangoes. Fuck mangoes. All right, we have a. Uh, uh, he says man. No, he said limes. Limes, comma limes. fuck mangoes. Yeah. All right. 50- no one ever fucking got free music off Mango Wire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what the demo is voting on. <laughs> Would you rather limes or mangoes? 54.6% said mangoes. Oh, see, wow, you your... did intentionally take a dive. Yes, huh? I did, because Damn. I know that the world is a shitty place and I'm a dog in hell instead of a lion killing someone. Why would they say mangoes? Because 
They're more exotic. Oh. A lot of people had limes. I mean, like you can go to any Chili's and ask for a Diet Coke, and they're gonna put a lime on it. You, you can uh-huh. you can eat a mango, like whole. You wouldn't eat a lime whole. I think that's part of it. Uh, that is Corey talking without a mic. <laughs> just, <laughs> he's offering moral support. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's just he's just having his own conversation <laughs> off mic. <laughs> okay, but here's uh, the worst part about mangoes is that you know there's like a lot stuck to the seed unless you want to cut your hand and try to get it off, and then you like if you bite the seed you will get all the little threads. Of oh, it, it is a pain in it the is. ass. Mangoes suck. Yeah, like, they suck. But they a do. Yeah, you can just like. You know, cut into like eight pieces and then just squeeze all the. But this is my thing. You don't eat that lime. Pointing to the younger demo that is voting for this, they do not appreciate the utilitarian nature of a lime. This is true, right? I'm just like key lime pie. Yeah. You ain't got fucking mango pie that you're eating, (laughs) right? They they they, they, did. And now, now Annalise is talking off mic. This is, this is the new thing because everyone just talks (laughs) off mic. (laughs) <laughs> uh, all righty uh, Where were we? Okay, so uh, would you? If you didn't hear Annalise just very boldly When I said you don't have a mango pie She went, I'll make one <laughs> <laughs> Very aggressive pie maker yeah. That's that's what that's her personality All right? of these <laughs> 900 numbers have fucked all the energy We are all no. very aggressive in this episode It's fucked, all right uh, Justin, <laughs> going back to you, pimp would you rather eat fruit salad or sleep for a month? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I know Brian's answer. Can I answer? Uh, oh, this is this is a hard one because my personal uh, uh, vote on this one would be immediate. I would I would take the fruit salad. I would not sacrifice the month. Um, but Dude, I feel like they- some people some people fetishize sleep. In, in in a kind of way that would make them want to say, oh, no, I'll sleep for a month. What what an amazing thing it would be to sleep for a month. I, I'm not a fan of fruit salad, so to be honest, I, I literally had already decided the second one, and that was even when I heard, or sleep for, and I thought, ever. And then I was like... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you would sleep forever. Oh my god! I'll before be so eating, well it would be before so nice. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yeah, fuck fruit salad. What fuck do you fuck hate about fruit salad? Fuck fruit salad. What do you hate about fruit salad? Oh man, what's not to love about all them fucking flies all over it, and the fact that it sits out, <laughs> that people sneeze on it, and put their fucking fingers on it. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking? A about? A lot of those are solvable problems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't never seen it. <laughs> you ain't never seen a prepackaged fruit salad at Whole Foods. Or yeah, they start that way, and then you bust the seal, and then you hear the fucking flight of the Valkyries playing from over the horizon. I think that's and in they come. Either children sneezing <laughs> with their grubby fingers <laughs> or flies. Always. This feels like an I think you should leave bit. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking to Justin. Would you rather eat fruit yeah, salad? Yeah, no, I, I would. I would actually, I like fruit salad, unlike this psychopath. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I, but I would do something that I don't like as opposed to sleeping for a month. So you're saying you, I will eat a fruit salad. You're gonna eat the fruit salad. So brave. That's going in the song. <laughs> 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 All right, fifty-five point five percent of the internet spoke, and they said sleep for a month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. civilization exists. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie, <laughs> do all of your children immediately congregate and put their hands on a, 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 a newly opened fruit salad? <laughs> I've not seen this happen, but I mean, possibly. So you're I saying think. it's strange I, children that do this? No, yeah, I'm I, just I think, I'm just saying that 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 dog Xanax disappeared real fast. <laughs> I think uh, I think. Uh, See, I'm hinting that she sedated the children. That's <laughs> when the you opened a fruit salad. Yes, yes. You're building a real world Brian's. here. Yes. I think it's Brian's parenting, though. I think that's what we're talking. Oh, Jesus about. Christ! Jiminy, Jiminy! <laughs> my my parenting is so good is why they don't do that. No. Did you say no. Jiminy Bimini? <laughs> yes, I was so shocked. I said Jiminy Bimini. Are you trying to get a new catchphrase off? <laughs> I want to see a T-shirt stack. Wait, <laughs> Jiminy Bimini. Wanna... This this holiday's hottest shirt is Jiminy <laughs> Bimini. Like <laughs> get it on a T-shirt. T-shirt we can no, we can act. We can do this. We can do this. It's happening next week. <laughs> oh. Jiminy Bimini for the holidays. We need. All right, we're putting the word out to 
everybody uh, uh, in uh, chat room. We need your Jiminy Bimini designs in uh, chat uh, room. In fact, uh, here's an easy way to start. Whenever somebody says or does something interesting on Twitter, just respond <laughs> with Jiminy, Jiminy Bimini. Bimini. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we're going to pick the best one, we are going to put it on fucking Teespring yeah. immediately. Yeah. We are selling them for the holidays as fast as possible. <laughs> Jiminy oh, Bimini t-shirts. That worked. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> yes, sir. Ready to rock. Would you rather be fast or fight for the Pokemon world? Oh, man. Oh. I mean, those are both pretty dope. Uh, I'd rather be fast, but uh, I know the internet wants me to fight for the Pokemon world, so I'll do that. You're going to say yeah. fight for the Pokemon world? Yeah. Alrighty, The internet spoke. And most of them said be fast. God damn it. This bullshit. That's no point for Brian. 52.4% said be fast. Hmm? Big Sonic fans. 1900 Jiminy Bimini. <laughs> 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 we had to have done Jiminy Bimini as a bit already. Haven't we? I, that's why I, I thought don't, the I don't, I, I don't know it, that, that those that syllables have say much. ever been arranged in that order and spoken aloud in the, all of humanity's history. Maybe I just say that to myself a lot. Okay. <laughs> How exactly does one spell that? I'm I'm losing some of the letters. I, I, I'm we'll sure never, the we'll we'll never sort know. it out. Yeah, <laughs> gi yeah, yeah. Uh, Jiminy like cricket, right. Bimini like the island. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, if the internet can all agree how to spell psych, I'm sure that they could agree. Oh, how to you spell did not need Jiminy to make Bimini. this about that. Okay. <laughs> all right, uh, Justin, we're back to you. Would yep. you rather the magician or? <laughs> The revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather the magician or the revolution? Oh, <laughs> man. This one uh, uh, is, is interesting. <laughs> Pick one, please. <laughs> bimini, bimini. <laughs> I will say the revolution. All right, 62% of the internet said that they would go for the revolution. Yay! I read Reddit. I read Reddit. No one likes magic. Everyone likes socialism. <laughs> All righty, let's check in on the scores, why don't we? Bonnie, what are our scores yeah. looking like here after about we're, five rounds of play? We're coming in with Justin at four to Brian's two. Uh, mm, thank you. Uh, we're Bonnie, looking at three and one. Have you, have you had any add-ons or revisions to the serenade uh, punishment? Yes, I have a song now. Uh-oh. A so song? You to, yeah, one of you has to sing, You've Always Been My Hero. Are you always been um, my hero? My favorite part? Of this I... sweetheart <laughs> is that that's not a song. Wait, how does it go? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna leave it right there. We have to sing the well-known song "You've Always Been My Hero," which everybody knows the lyrics to. We all know the lyrics to "You've Always Been My Hero." So that's what we have to sing to each other. Whoever loses has to sing world-famous song. Covered so many times, there's really no true author. <laughs> You've always been my hero. <laughs> okay. okay. I believe. Yeah. yeah. I think it's uh, my turn. And uh, uh, we're looking at one in three, Bonnie. If you're if you're looking to update your scores, I think you got. Oh, I think you gave everybody Brian. an extra point. Wait, Brian? Yep. One in, one point versus three points. <laughs> oh wait, wait everybody. Wait, I thought I really? got the fruit salad one right. At, yeah, I thought you got the fruit salad. Uh, that was Justin's, and he got that wrong. Oh, oh yeah, because both of you answered that one. So, 
Yeah, no, it's we're just doing one per round. Oh, okay. And so Justin has. So Justin's got three. You know, I got this. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. We have fucking a <laughs> question at the end that fucks everything up. So let's go. All right. Uh, last bit of individual ones. Brian. Ready. Would you rather the water or do a barrel roll? Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. If there's one thing everybody likes is Star Fox. I mean, so wait, hold on. You're in a desert. You're, 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 you're crawling and you're like, Barrel roll, barrel roll. That's how you get to the waters. You just barrel roll you know, do, 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 down a hill, and then you're <laughs> suddenly in a, an oasis, yeah. and you're, there's a sexy woman there. You're doing the backstroke, and you're I don't know why water. people don't think of that more when they're, <laughs> when they're crawling and dying in a desert. It's just like, why aren't I barrel rolling? <laughs> well, but, but then you realize it was a mirage. Oh, Halfway yeah. through your third, uh, third cigar. Uh, and then next thing you know, yeah, and the cigar is like a scorpion or something. Yeah. And you're like, oh. like oh! And worse yet, it's not even lime flavored. <laughs> it's like a mango scorpion. You're like, God damn it. Fucking mango scorpion. All right, yeah. so Brian, you're saying. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. All right, the internet spoke and they said the water God 56%. Damn it. I would have went with the water. It's a necessary tenet of life. Uh. <laughs> Justin, we're jumping straight to you. Go. Would you rather spider time? <laughs> Or speak in your head. Oh, I'd rather spider time. I can speak in my head right now, so I'm going to go with spider time. Yeah, as a matter of fact, take a moment. Uh, spe speak in your head. <clears throat> you got to cut to the one shot of Justin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I could speak in my head. <laughs> I could have all kinds of thoughts. <laughs> I could think about how great it's going to be when Brian has to serenade me. Limes, what an idiot. <laughs> anyway, this place really needs more melodica. <laughs> the end. Okay. Yeah. I liked I liked the transition. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was quick. I kind of thought you were just doing a let's be quiet for 30 seconds. No. Bit, but okay. <laughs> we need to figure out a signal or something for that. <laughs> we're working it out. We're, we're working it, it out. out. We're, we're still a young fun. team. <laughs> All right. Here's, here's a cue. Brian will never say, just be quiet for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you, what did you say again? You said spider time or speaking? Spider your... time. The one that isn't the thing that everybody fucking has. <laughs> All right. 39% of people said spider time. It's a no point for Justin. They want to oh, speak shit. in their head. Oh. Really? 61%? Yeah, it turns out some people don't like spiders. And much less. <laughs> they already have special the thing. Time All right, whatever. Where they could just, you know, hang out with spiders, crawling on them and yeah. stuff. All right. It's time for our final yeah. round. Oh, uh, speak, oh, oh, so it's like telepathy. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Uh, uh, the score going into our final round is Brian's got one point and Justin's got three points. This is our four point round, so it's anybody's game. Uh, gentlemen, grab your phones for me. You're going to send in. Uh, well, here, can can Brian text and I'll, oh, and sure. I, I, I'll, I'll, I will I'll yell lock it. Mine in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Uh, the would you rather? Would you rather be able to jump 30 feet vertically <laughs> or. 100 feet horizontally. <laughs> so you can give me a... a <laughs> what, one what of those will get me a Nike endorsement? Uh, both of them will. <laughs> what? <laughs> both of them yeah, will. Sorry. Both of them one will. of those will get me a Nike endorsement for a lot of... One might say the best-selling endorsement of all time. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Would what? you rather be able to jump 30 feet vertically or 100 feet horizontally? I'm looking at my phone here, waiting for... Boom, there it is. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, Justin, uh, can you please uh, give me your answer? Or how, how are we doing this? I will say that I would jump 100 feet horizontally. What would you use that gift for? Fucking not get Ubers. A <laughs> hundred <laughs> feet at a time? Yeah. So I just, I mean, like I walk a lot. They'd be a lot faster if I could go a hundred feet horizontally. So you do 50 broad jumps to do a mile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, yeah. You I do, mean, I, you do, you would have to land both of these jumps. Like, I guess you're assuming you have like Avengers crazy jump landing ability. Well, I mean, I'm, 
I can jump a hundred feet. I figure I can land, right? Oh like, yeah. It's not like, no, like no, it's not like you're gonna hit the ground and tumble forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just like a, a. It is like walking or running. So like, if I need to get somewhere, I can just get somewhere really fast. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, Justin, your answer of horizontal, I'm gonna have to put this, and you know I have. Because I mean, because it's a lot better than just like, what am I gonna do? Jump uh, up into a fourth Who's story window? Like yeah. that's uncool. You're gonna, be, you're gonna fucking punch that thing and get the the mushroom power up. Is what you're gonna get. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on. All right, I'm going to take your answer. Uh, gonna have to, we're gonna, someone's going to serenade to, You're My Hero. <laughs> what, was the, what was the title of it again? I believe it's Did You're you My Hero. No, You're My Hero. You're My Hero. You're My Hero. You're My Hero. All right, I'm dropping this into the answer hole. Justin, your answer is. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I'm on a streak, baby. I'm on a streak. Uh, All right. 59, almost 60% of respondents said that they would jump 100 feet vertically, uh, horizontally. More, more is better. That was my, that was, that was the way that I would do it. So wait, did you Ryan go the other way? Vertical. Yep. Yep. You went I vertical. Vert. So wait, wait, you were, you were doing it for the Nike endorsement? I was doing it to be the world's greatest basketball player. That's right. All so this. you think you would also be good at basketball because you're able to jump 30 feet? Uh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I, yes, actually, that's that one makes a lot of sense. Over everyone, and yeah, and then just bloop, put it in. And the not, back. yeah. I mean, how hard could that be? If a dog could do it. <laughs> well, and it says like able to jump, so I'm assuming you don't have to do the full thirty every jump. I mean, I would just to show. Yeah, but also there's like conditioning and dribbling. Like, they're, and... Gonna, they're gonna have to make a rule in the NBA <laughs> saying, "Okay, you are allowed to slam dunk. You're not allowed to jump all the way up, straddle the goal, hump it three times, and then swoosh it behind your butt, which would be called the Brushwood Special, <laughs> and will embarrass all of my children." So you would. Many generations so you would come. sit on the rim. Yeah. And okay. then, and then you would. Lift your ass oh, up and sh oh. and shoot the ball under your taint. Yeah, I would call that uh, my signature move. Would would be well. First, I'd steal the ball, and then I'd call it the swipe and wipe. And then uh, so first you swipe it, and then I would jump thirty feet up, land on the toilet bowl, and then I. would By the way, in. Bryce, look this up. There was a a catch in the 49ers game last night where a dude caught the ball in his taint. If you, oh, if you, yes, if I you saw that. Google a guy caught the ball in his taint, and it is an amazing, an amazing fucking uh, uh, athletic feat. The most athletic feat that's ever involved a taint in competitive athletics. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, give me a sec. I'll all right, all right, he'll, he'll figure that out. Uh, all right, uh, br Brian, uh, uh, I feel like there's something that you need to get off your chest <laughs> in in uh, in song form. Uh, Bonnie. Uh, uh, of course, we all have fond memories of hearing the song "You Will Always Be My Hero." No, uh, that wasn't even the name. She didn't even get that close. Wait, what was what it? it? Don't you know you'll always be my hero? Don't you know you'll always be my hero? <laughs> uh, so uh, 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 we we all we all we all know uh, 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 what is what is what. When you think of that song, which we all have heard so many times, uh, uh, what do you think of? Da, 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 da. No, no, not no, no. Don't <laughs> sing it. Like just like a place that you would hear it. Oh, um, I would hear it at the closing credits of some sappy movie that I was forced to watch with my best friend who insisted on all right. sappy uh, movie. Bro, okay, bro, all right, bro, uh, uh, Bryce. Theater. Bryce, I need I need you to go to art list. Uh, uh. And and I need you to uh, just click off vocals, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then find literally fucking anything. <laughs> uh, God damn it! Okay, right. here. Let's see. Instrumental. Yeah. And let's set the mood. Maybe we want um uh something happy. very uh, romantic. Something very up tempo. Okay. How about oh maybe uh okay. I don't know what the song sounds like, but let's try. Let's go. This. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. Hey, where are my swinging cats out there? <laughs> it's me, Brian Brushwood. I'm here to do th two things: program melodica sounds and serenade this motherfucker. <laughs> here we go. You know, the first night I ever saw your clean-shaven face. 
I thought to myself, this guy, he's cooler than Ace of Base. <laughs> I fell in love with our friendship, it's number one. Then we started the podcast, and oh my God, it was so fun. They tried to kick us off of the net. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but they couldn't get there. We're already into the grievance. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, they were square. <laughs> Which is why I just want to say, I try to, can, can, can I hear it a little bit more? <laughs> All right. Now you got a big old beard and... Well, I must say that I'm in love with you in every way. Did you ever know that I love my hero? And by the way, P.S. That hero is you. All right. Tip your weight staff, people. That was a serious <laughs> for Justin Robert Young. song don't you know you're my hero <laughs> originally sung by two live crew <laughs> it is brian brushwood oh my fucking god, god i was that just was thinking to myself one. today why isn't brett this good at fucking punishment <laughs> That was a fucking good one. You know, I think it was a punishment for both. I think Justin was really embarrassed. <laughs> I was. I was legitimately embarrassed. There was a moment in which I realized that it was partly my job to be here <laughs> and just be embarrassed. That's part of the act. And uh, uh, I, I didn't have to pretend. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it was a swinging crooner. I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. I didn't either. Yeah. yeah. No, he literally picked a random thing off Artlist. The uh, top sexy song on Artlist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, you want to know what? It, it, it's about time that we uh, <laughs> real musicians got real. Here. <laughs> yeah, I guess we probably shouldn't have introed him with a bunch of horseshit music. Although it's probably better. Yeah, now they're gonna look great. It's probably better. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, uh, two of our favorite people in the entirety of our canon, and that is Mike TV and, and Trey, Trey Warren. Warren. Come on up, boys. Come on up. Here, go ahead and grab there that. Yeah. Grab that over there. We're getting there. We uh, go. We're getting the musicians on stage, but I do want to take the second to let everybody know. Greatnightpod at gmail.com is our email address. If you've got a game, an idea for a punishment, a, a funny question, a high thought, maybe greatnightpod at gmail.com is where to send it. We've got it in the show notes as well. And now, these guys. Uh, if you are somebody that that uh, doesn't listen to our uh, a great room uh, uh, part of, of of the program, which is the first hour that we do of the program, uh, then you did not hear all the amazing things that's happening with Mike, which uh, uh, along with surviving, uh, uh, which was a very <laughs> exciting thing for us. Uh, 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 now you have uh, a bunch of awesome things that are going on. So please, everybody check that out. But uh, Mike, uh, what, what do you have to play for us today? Um, so I've, I've been I've been writing songs. I, I, I had the intention, I wanted to write 104 songs by the end of the year. God damn it. Yeah, um, you, you, you know what's funny is you could have ended that sentence with uh, in the next 20 minutes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I would have believed you. <laughs> um, and and so, um, but, and, and I'm, I'm falling a little bit short of it, so this month and next month I'm writing basically a song a day until I, so I can catch up to that, to where I, where I was leaving out. So so these are two brand new songs. Hell that, yeah, that, premieres. That, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that this is the first time I'll be playing them out. You know, well, what did like, you think about uh, uh, Brian's rendition yeah, of yeah. "You're a Hero to Me"? I thought, yeah, you know, it's it's really funny because it reminded me of the original version. Um, it was really close to like, like, like it was pretty on point, man. I, I didn't realize that, yeah. like, you know, yeah. You know, I mean, the the, yeah. the original version by Beowulf. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was, uh, yeah. It, it was it was originally a madrigal. Uh, yeah, exactly. for, yeah. It was, it was one of the yeah, uh, yeah. the Canterbury Tales, if I remember <laughs> yeah. correctly. It was originally there's, an there's English rather, murder ballad. <laughs> there's a yeah. rather ri ribald uh, uh, fifth verse, I think. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, so uh, uh, let, let's go ahead and hear, man. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys yeah. and girls, Mike, Mike TV. TV. All right, right on. Yeah, so this is this is a brand new one. It's called Brambles and Fetters. It, it was written last week, and uh, 
It goes like this. Uh, Mike, are you plug- is your guitar plugged in? Oh, no, it's not. Would you mind doing that, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, a, I'm a professional. Jiminy I've done this. Bimini, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash uh, great night is uh, where you need to go to support this. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mike. Cast a hex on you I'm gonna tie you up with string Carry you into my dreams Five, nine, seven, eight There's no need to hesitate Oh, come with me Oh, take my hand Let's dance along this bramble path Oh, come, come dance down the bramble path Should you catch your skirts I will free you from the feathers Two, six, seven, nine Let's arrive in the nick of time Let's you and me never be Worried by the worries Oh, where we go Is the place where we will be But I don't care Oh, I don't give a damn So long as you're with me Four, six, eight, and three. I would you wanna marry me? I wanna hold you to my heart and never ever separate. Six, eight, three, and two. There's so much that I wanna do, so much I wanna do with you. Let's get married, let's not wait. Oh, come, come dance down the bramble path. Should you catch your skirts, I will free you from the fetters. Six, Time, none again. Let's make love, let it never end. Let's stay up and cheers the stars. Let's the stars they are, the peers of ours. Oh, where we go is the place where we will be. But I don't mind, oh, I don't give a damn. So long as you're with me. mother dude uh this these are these are very romantic uh lyrics here yeah you know yeah it's crazy i i for some reason i have a little something that happened in my life that's making me write some some very romantic songs i Rating, look I, yeah. I, I think i'm picking up what he's putting down and yeah i'll give you a serenade just we gotta finish the show <laughs> <laughs> thank you man yeah thank you. uh are you streaming again i am yeah i i am i am streaming um five days a week yet again um my schedules, uh, uh, the the whole format, it hasn't changed significantly. But but Isabella has been joining me. Yeah. So she's now. Ju- so we're starting off. So she's going to start off with just singing, but eventually she's going to move on to the piano, and um and she'll be doing harmonies and stuff like that. And so you know, I mean, eventually, slowly but surely, I'm going to triangulate a whole band together. You know, like I've got Trey. You know, like like I'll eventually just keep adding people. Like, oh hey, come join me for this little stream and then you know and the next thing you know I'll, yeah I'll next thing you know uh, 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 sue's on the tambourine and it's like there's nothing in the rule book that says <laughs> a dog can't play, play the tambourine <laughs> um so uh, uh 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 you are back and that is twitch.tv slash mike tv live yes right yes and um yeah, and it's it's five days a week, Monday through Friday, um, and and I'm and right now I'm I'm debuting a whole bunch of new material. Next year I'm gonna I'm gonna spend. So I've written, uh, I will hopefully have written a hundred songs this year. I, I last year I wrote like forty songs, that, uh, and and I and I found another forty that I haven't. So I will have about two hundred songs with which to figure out what my next record or records is gonna be. So the entire process is gonna get vetted via my folks on Twitch and here, here of course, and like. So and I'm gonna be putting out singles like I'm just gonna like 
Yeah, I'm gonna go from the writing phase, which I've been doing for the past couple of years, to now the production. It is phase. time to harvest. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to harvest. Be, and it's gonna be. Let's get this shit be to tits. market. Have, have, yeah. have you ever done like a, a March Madness tournament uh, of your own new creations? No, I have not. That would I, be a, an amazing like like three hour live event. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, just to just to figure out that like which ones are the other ones. Yeah, that's actually yeah. not a bad idea at all. Yeah, so we'd, I'd, I'd have to do I'd have to do like a qualifying thing to get to get the. The competitors, but you'd yeah. have to play each song as fast as you could, yeah. and if it got uh, under a certain time, it qualified. Yeah, yes, 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 because yeah, okay. it's, it's about brevity. It's about brevity. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. right. So, Lewitt, uh Mike, what we got? Um, uh, so, I've got. Oh, here it goes. Uh, so, and, th and this is another new one, also written last week. Um, and uh, the great thing is, is yeah, we don't have to change the capo at all. This, this is a rock tune. Um, I wanted. Oh, shoot. I want. I wanted to write a song that was that was just about. Hanging out with friends, getting drunk, and having a good time. You know, because I, I, there's well, not enough songs that that, uh, that say that, I, yeah, I mean, that, that are about dude, that. Dude yeah, yeah, I know, man. Yeah. I, know. On, on, a, I know. Yeah, on a rock album, untouched well, territory for yeah. guitar music. All right, take it away, Mike TV. Yeah. Boom. Kick it like it's never been kicked before. We're gonna hit it, then gonna hit it ten times more. We're gonna take the night, we're gonna take the day, we're gonna light it up and then float away. We're gonna shoot it up, then we'll drink it down. We're gonna punch it hard right in the mouth. Take the sky, we're gonna steal the stars, we're gonna roar on by in our muscle cars. Everything you don't wanna be is everything you don't gotta be at all. We're gonna do it like it's never done before. We're gonna pound them, we're gonna pound, pound it some more. We're gonna light the fire, we're gonna burn it out So come on baby, let's you and me get down Everything you don't wanna be, is everything you don't gotta be at all At all Everything you don't wanna be, is everything you don't gotta be at all You gotta take one down, then pass it around. You gotta take two down, then pass them around. You gotta take three down, then pass them around. You gotta take four down, you gotta take more down. All right! All right! Tonight! Everything you don't wanna be is everything you don't gotta be at all. Everything you don't want to be is everything you don't got to be at all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy shit. That's a barn burner. The barn is now burnt. I, 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 all I could think the entire time is like, fuck, we gotta go back on the road. We gotta go back on the road. We gotta go back on the road. That's it's too fucking good, yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really, I, so it's really funny. I, I, I've, I decided that the, the last. The last bit of songs I'm gonna write are gonna be fun, silly, just rock, like fun, like rocking. Uh, you know, I, I have a tendency to write kind of silly, and, and but usually like they're just realities pitched at like eleven songs. But I'm like, fuck, it, I'm just gonna write some abjectly like absurdist, fun, just like, yeah, looking, yeah, just so. yeah, burn this motherfucker yeah, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's take so that that's, barn. Yeah, yeah, fuck that barn. Yeah, fuck that barn. Fuck man. that barn. Also, barrel rolls over water, am I right? We all agree, <laughs> right? Limes are better oh, than I mangoes. Stand. I prefer barrel rolls down. Uh, if you are one of those foolish humans who has not already followed twitch.tv slash Mike TV Live, then I demand that you do it right now. It is not an option. It is mandatory. Uh, Trey, where can people find yeah. you? Well, I got, I got an extra plug here. Uh, twitch.tv slash oh. Rimrock Studios. Uh, our friend Boone Graham, who was on here yep. not too long ago, is coming and streaming a 
uh, show from my studio. Uh, Hell on yeah. This yeah. Friday. And, and, and in fact, it's going to involve a puppet. So, that, so, yeah, so first we off, so, <laughs> we got so, a whole so band Boone, and a puppet. So Boone is like one of the wildly most creative guys on the planet Earth. And he, and he always has this just like very tilted, like you're like, oh, this is totally going to be something that I understand. And then there's always some element you're like, oh, my God, what is he doing? This is amazing. So he's doing that. So he's got a puppet involved in the show. He's got a full band. He's got some other crazy, awesome stuff. And so but but so this is now. So Trey has Trey has been slowly but surely diversifying his stuff. But but this is this is like the this is the first of the, uh, the like the w- w- <laughs> anyway it's just, yeah there it is yeah. Yep. and so and so you can, can now you can now hop into you can see the control room if you go to the Rimrock Studio site and then and then and then you'll be uh, 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 Boone's show will be, will be streaming from his magical object site so you can actually see the control room and the li- and the show it's gonna be awesome I feel uh, like I feel the like future the Hollywood pitch for Boone would be. Okay, okay, okay. Empty your head. Yeah. Yeah, 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 blue yeah, yeah. sky, blue sky. All right, ready? What if a hug was a person? Right? And he's like, oh, well, there's nothing in the Hollywood rule book. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are a few people on earth that I have described as uh human Muppets. Like Brett, our friend, Brett Rounceville, yes, yeah. is a human muppet yeah like like he is he is somebody that he is he's like one of the leaders he's like a very leonardo kind of archetype like but he is somebody that has just kind of the 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 grace and humanity of 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 a a a big beacon of a muppet boone i feel like he is a side character he's he's like he he is he's something that is just so pure of his energy you know you immediately look at him you know exactly what you need to know about him and he is like Finally, somebody gets me. He's, he's yeah. John Denver appearing on the Muppet Show all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 is yeah, what yeah, yeah. he is. Right? He's always yeah. John Denver. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, they're asking in the chat for a live outro. Do you have that in you, or should we should we play it safe? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah, I can do. I we can do it. I can do an outro. Uh, so you, we want to make something up, or do we no, wanna... no, 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 no. Do do do, do the lullaby. Oh, the lullaby oh, oh, outro. Oh, the live outro. Oh yeah. Um, uh, oh, let me see. Yeah. yeah I, see, that's let, that's. Let, yeah. I, I, we can play it. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play it. We have to find out, Bonnie. What did we learn this yeah. evening? Well, we learned that while Mike TV takes the night, Brian will haunt the wood. Except the dead are in your phone line and they have your number. So. Call now oh, to hear what sunglasses night. Bryce is wearing. <laughs> That's one nine hundred Jiminy Bimini. Look at that! She fucking Great nailed it. Up, she nailed it. Big shout out to Bonnie, the Invisible Wife, Brushwood Shine for on uh, you crazy diamonds. Killing it. <laughs> Okay, sure, we're out. <laughs> see, you, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> it's just a, it's, it was still a great night. Is that what we do? Sure. I thought we were we were wrapping it up, but we're done. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. <laughs> just my friend, the pain never ends. The moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. Ow. Gray night. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this. <laughs>